गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर एट केमिकल बॉन्डिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन लर्न द बेसिक थिंग्स ओके सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड वेल यू मे फील ईजी वेन यू कम टू क्लास टेन्थ एंड द हायर स्टडीज क्ला चैप्टर सेवेन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स आई विल सेंड टू यू वेन यू गेट द नोटबुक still your notebooks are in the school after you receive the note i will send the question and answers and i send the pro i will give the project also okay then now we are starting the chemical bonding chemical bonding is the lesson of chemistry okay so here bonding bonding means one kind of relationship okay so chemical bonding in this chemical bonding we are going to study about two bonds okay bond means relationship okay bondings between the chemicals why they have to relate we study in this lesson we study about two chemical bonds one is ionic bond and the second one is chemical bond first we see some introduction about this lesson okay so in the previous lesson in, in one lesson atomic structure lesson you studied about the electronic configuration valence electrons and the structure of the atom okay so that understanding is very important to understand this lesson if you don't understand the chapter 3 atomic structure you feel difficult to understand this one okay so i already explained about about the atom in the atom we have three things na so if we take the atom so this is the atom means in the atom what are the things we have we have electrons yes we have electrons and the second one is the protons and the third one is the neutrons okay so this you should understand well in each atom atom means what for example if we take the h2o water in the hydrogen how many are there two are there this is one hydrogen and one oxygen so if we take single way this is one atom and this is one atom and this is one atom okay when these three together and they are making a h2o so now this it will become this water will become what now molecule okay molecule so now through the bonds h is different hydrogen is different but now hydrogen making the relationship with the oxygen okay so this is the bonding how they make the bonds we study in this lesson okay so these two together now when they come h2o now we are calling not the element or atom we call it as a molecule or another name is compound please write this explanation to to get more understanding okay in the atom what are the things we have electrons protons and neutrons okay now in each atom hydrogen is one atom this is one atom oxygen is one atom atom or another one is the element e l e m e n t one element okay so element and here hydrogen when it is react with the oxygen now it is making a relationship to form a molecule or compound or compound okay now h2 is a compound now in each atom in hydrogen hydrogen and oxygen in each atom we have the electrons so in each atom what we have electrons protons and neutrons okay and you studied the about atomic number in the periodic table once i sent the periodic table to all of you in whatsapp and i ask you to take the print out and keep yes now that 
periodic table is very important for chemistry for four lessons in the class 9th textbook very important if you don't get the periodic table tell me i send to you okay so periodic table is very important understand so so that periodic table in that we have the electrons protons and neutrons sorry in each atom we have the electrons protons neutrons for example what is the atomic number of hydrogen if you have the periodic table please take take and you listen to the class when you listen to the class watch the videos follow the textbook so for hydrogen what is the atomic number 1 so this atomic number will tell us how many electrons are there in the atom that means in the hydrogen atom how many electrons are there one electron is there and how many electrons are there that much protons protons will be there so protons also one okay so neutrons is what neutrons is the neutrons is for example hydrogen mass number is 1 the weight mass weight na atomic mass or mass weight so this minus and this is the neutrons okay so this is the one so we have the charges electrons has the which charge minus charge and protons has the positive charge and neutron has no charge okay so protons small p and plus positive plus means positive charge right in the textbook plus means what positive charge right all these things in the textbook and electron e minus means what negative charge electrons has the negative charge protons has the positive charge okay and neutron has no charge understand so in the atom for example hydrogen is there na so hydrogen and we studied about the shells also na k shell l shell m n each atom has the uh, and uh, electrons are rounding in where outside the nucleus and we have the shells here we have only one electron so only one shell we write this is the nucleus so in this shell one electrons are present and inside the cell what are present protons and inside the cell sorry inside the atom we have the protons and neutrons p plus and neutron has no charge p means protons n means neutrons and outside the nucleus electrons are going round it has the negative charge how many electrons are there that much protons will be there neutrons means mass weight minus atomic number okay so these are the things we have to understand now if you understand this everything if you understand all these you can understand the lesson very well understand so i think you write all these things in the textbook side by okay in this near this chapter you write now another one why they will bond why they make the bonds okay now for example uh, we take for the which one we take hydrogen we take h2o yes not h2o it will come in the covalent bond for example we will study why they have to so this is the nucleus around the nucleus we have the shells na k l m n four shells we have this is k shell this is l this is m and this is n okay for example if we take the hydrogen atom it is atomic number is 1 and mass weight is 1 okay so but since it has only one electron always in the k shell we should have a two electrons okay and in other shells we should have the eight electrons okay in the k shell always we should have two electrons in the other shells we should have eight electrons if there is no eight electrons in these shells and if there is no in this shell two electrons so it is not complete it is not complete so to complete this shells only 
दे विल रिलेट विथ अदर एलमेंट्स दे रिलेट विथ अदर ऑटम्स सो दे मेक रिलेशनशिप विथ अदर ऑटम्स ना वी हेव द पेन्सिल आर फ्रेंड डोंट हेव द पेन्सिल इफ आवर फ्रेंड आस्क अस द पेन्सिल वी गिव टू हर सो दैट आवर फ्रेंडशिप विल ग्रो ओके आवर फ्रेंडशिप बिकम्स स्ट्रांग सो टू मेड इट स्ट्रांग दे शेयर द electrons okay now we study uh, in the next video